Mastering Middle Eastern Titles and Honorifics in English Conversations Hello learners! Welcome back to our series on Conversational English. Today, we are focusing on making requests and offers, under the fascinating topic of cultural considerations. Specifically, we will dive into the intriguing world of titles and honorifics in Middle Eastern cultures. By understanding these cultural aspects, we can enrich our conversations and make our interactions more meaningful and respectful. In many Middle Eastern cultures, titles and honorifics play a vital role in daily conversation. They are a way to show respect and acknowledge someone's status, profession, or age. Not using them where appropriate can sometimes be considered rude or disrespectful. While there are numerous specific titles used in different Middle Eastern cultures, we'll focus on a few general ones that you might encounter when speaking English with individuals from these regions. Remember, awareness of these titles is crucial in establishing respectful communication. 1. Sheikh, Shaika. This title is used to address a leader or an elder. Sheikh is for men, and Shaika is for women. It's often used for people of high social status or scholars. 2. Haji, Haja. People who have completed the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca earn the title Haji, for men, or Haja, for women. It's a mark of respect and a significant religious accomplishment. 3. Doctor, Professor. Much like in Western cultures, doctor and professor are used to address individuals with a doctorate degree or who hold a teaching position at a university. However, in some Middle Eastern cultures, these titles can also be used as a mark of respect towards highly educated individuals, regardless of their specific profession. 4. Sayyid, Sayyida. These titles are used to address descendants of Prophet Muhammad. Sayyid is for men, and Sayyida is for women. This title holds a significant religious and social prestige. 5. Effendi. This is a title of respect or courtesy, equivalent to sir or madam in English. It's not as commonly used today but can still be found in some formal contexts. Remember, when using these titles, it's best to address the person with the title followed by their first name. For example, you might say Sheikh Omar or Dr. Sarah. Also, keep in mind that these are broad generalizations, and usage can vary significantly between different countries and cultures within the Middle East. That's all for today's lesson on titles and honorifics in Middle Eastern cultures. Understanding and using these titles correctly can make your conversations more polite, respectful, and culturally sensitive. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be mastering these in your English conversations. Join us in the next video where we will continue exploring cultural considerations in conversational English. Until then, happy learning!